Hey, what's up guys, it's Mark Yoon, and today I got an update video for you on Mortal Kombat 11. So yesterday I noticed that the patch notes that they promised us were actually being delivered to our systems. Um, I don't know if it's everybody at once, I know that I got mine yesterday around 12 o'clock. Um, I just wanted to go over a few things that are in those patch notes, and as always I'll leave a link to the full patch notes in the description box down below so you can go check it out for yourself. But um, there's a lot to go over here, so let's just get into it. So the general gameplay adjustments that have been adjusted are they fixed an exploit that allowed uh, for more than one variation of a character to be set as default, which could result in an online desync de when trying to select that character. Um, so good. <laughs> There's not much really to say about these, so I'm just gonna bang through them and give you my thoughts at the end. Fixed a rare issue that occurred if the user lost internet connectivity while customizing their character, which would sometimes result in that variation being saved with some items being locked. Uh, that actually happened to me. But I just reset my game and it uh, appeared again, so I don't know if that happened to everybody else. Um, fixed a rare issue that was affecting some user progression after using Kenshi Blindfold in the Crypt to fully drain their soul fragments. That hasn't happened to me yet. The soul fragments do drain, but it seems to have a pretty normal pace for me, so I'm guessing some people it went strictly uh, for their soul coins went to zero when just activating it, so that's kind of a bummer, so I'm glad they fixed that. Move list and frame data corrections. Integrated launch day gameplay server side data. Tweaks to online matchmaking. AI adjustments. Fixed a rare crash involving trying to use quick moves list in story mode. Fixed a rare crash in the totem pole tower in the gauntlet. Fixed a crash related to pausing and unpausing the game. Corrected some incorrect instruction text in the tutorial mode. Enabled developer slayer functionality. Katana's fans will no longer sometimes remain invisible if she's interrupted out of a Denian fade with specific timing. Hotfix server will no longer sometimes be invalid when the game is booted up online. Fixed a rare crash involving using a consumable near a chest in the crypt. Increased rewards and breakables in the crypt. That's, that's a key one. Adjusted rewards from AI, AI battle mode. Increased coin rewards for winning ranked matches. And now these are the towers of time adjustments. <clears throat> Adjusted the AI difficulty curve. Uh, further opponent health reductions in higher tower levels. Performing a fatal blow while standing in an active modifier will no longer sometimes cause unexpected behavior or a crash. Ice based modifiers will no longer attempt to freeze players during invalid states. Adjusted or removed modifiers from many daily towers. Awesome. <laughs> Increased coin rewards for completing towers and tower platforms. Uh, I actually can contest this already. Increased dragon challenge coin rewards. Increased post fight coin rewards. Increased the amount of hearts earned from fatalities, brutalities, and mercies. Lowered modifier damage for any for many modifiers. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering how to do a mercy, um, when you get to the fatality stage, you can actually allow your opponent to come back with about 20% health. What you'd have to do is go to halfway into the middle of the stage, uh, about halfway between, half a stage worth between you and your opponent. You need to hold down the stance button, which is L2 for PlayStation 4, I'm not sure about the other consoles, and you just repeatedly tap down. Usually it takes about three or four tapping downs to hit, and then like once you let go, you'll see Mercy, and then they'll come back. And you can still do a fatality after you beat them that time. But uh, there is a trophy involved there, so just wanted to let you guys know about that. Lowered modifier damage for many modifiers. Adjusted the lifespan of several modifiers. Dramatically increased cooldowns and tag assist modifiers. Fixed a missing reduced damage modifier in the gauntlet. Several gift curse modifiers are now considered projectiles, allowing them to interact with moves that affect projectiles as intended. Adjusted the gauntlet difficulty and progression requirements. Disabler consumables now work with all intended modifiers. Improved targeting for several consumables. Sector Hunter Killer Protocol modifier is now disabled by the Rocket Disabler consumable. That's great. <laughs> Corrected some multipliers on uh, augments for characters for which are inconsistent with others. Fixed incorrect uh, armor interactions with some modifiers. Decreased consumable cooldowns for players. Okay, so those are all great. Now yesterday when I did log in and check my notifications in the game, 
um, the rewards did pop up, so I'm going to go over what the actual rewards are just in case you haven't gotten them yet. Um, and just on a side note, um, I don't know if, put in the comment section down below if you guys are having trouble linking your um, Mortal Kombat mobile account to your um, your actual game account. I had to actually contact, well, WB Games contacted me on Twitter and they sent me to their customer help department and I submitted um, a report, but I haven't been able to log or link my mobile game to my console game since the game's come out. I've tried multiple times per day. It just says failed to link every time, so I don't know if any of you guys are having that problem. Um, if you have or if you found a solution for it, please let me know in the comment section down below because I feel like it'll be a lot faster to resolve that than WB actually getting back to me themselves. Okay, so this is a tweet from yesterday. Uh, it said, later this afternoon, the community gift will be distributed via update for PS4 players. So that's probably why I got it yesterday. Um, I'm not sure about when it's going to come out, but it, is, it does say it in this post. It has 500,000 coins, 1,000 souls, 1,000 time crystals, 500 hearts. Uh, it says as a thank you, which means for being patient with the game being this broken for the first week of its launch. Please make sure you log in and claim your community gift by May 6, 2019 at 8 a.m. CST, 6 a.m. PST. Community gifts will be sent out for Xbox, PC, and Switch players with their respective updates. We appreciate your patience. So, for all of you um, players that are on the PC, the Switch, and the Xbox, as soon as you actually see the updates go live, that's probably most likely when you're going to get your rewards. Um, you do have to press L2 on the main screen, uh, again, I don't know what it is on the other consoles, and go into your um, it'll, notification section, it'll be right above your daily logins, it'll have your, uh, your reward, and um, it actually, they actually did send it out yesterday for PS4, so I'm not sure if the update's coming out today for the Xbox and stuff, I can't imagine it'll be too much later. So again, if you haven't gotten it yet, maybe shoot them a tweet and um, ask them when the patch is going to be active in your region for what console. And um, that's going to be the video for today, guys. Just want to let you know on the patch updates. And be sure to share my friend Rich at Ragnarok. You'll find a link to his channel in my description box down below. And as always, guys, stay powered up. Peace.